Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, you'll notice I'm in a different spot than I left off last time. Uh, hey, this has been a couple days. And also, I'm just, you know, one room over, the energy tank was right here where I'm standing. I've, I've figured something out that I mentioned earlier, and just hadn't taken the time to figure out until now. Uh, you have to have power bombs and select them. Now, this is where I mentioned if you only had the charge beam and one other beam on, you could do special things. Uh, right now I have charge and ice. And all you have to do is select the uh, power bombs and just charge it up. And it'll happen. Boom. That's the ice one. It's a little shield. And it, you, the thing is you can't shoot. I'm hitting the shoot button. You can't shoot while it's active. It's the only like, downside to it. Oh, it's kind of cool and it'll eventually yeah, go away. Um, I think there's also one with the last beam that you get. Or, well, the next beam that you get. But I don't have it yet, so I'll mess around with it when I have time. This is the wave beam. So uh, it's kind of interesting. There's your little. Uh, there's also you can mess with it a little bit, and I'll show you that here in a minute. Um, and you get the spacer is yeah, spacer is that triple beam. Charge it up, and you get that's it. It really doesn't do anything else. Uh, what you can do, however, you can mess with them a little bit. Let's say that we get the ice one out. Charge it up. Let it go. We have little blue circles. Pause it while it's going. And switch to the wave beam. And now I've got the little wave beam ball circling around me. You can do the same thing with the spacer, except this one kind of is glitchy. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can do that with any of them as far as I'm aware. The spacer is kind of short. I don't think you can actually like see it happen. Um, you can also, another fun thing to do is do this number. Get the wave beam rolling. And. Yeah. I see, I'm pretty sure it has the exact same effect. It doesn't actually change the effect of what's going on, just the graphic. And you switch. Um, I think that's kind of crazy. They changed the graphic. I had never noticed that before until I started messing around with it. Um, and, you know, like I said, because I'm starting in a different spot than I did, I have been up here messing around with this for a little bit, testing it out. Um, so I actually went and decided to look it up. I also figured out how to do what's called the crystal flash to so get in that one place backwards. I mean, I will do that in a future episode. I'll show it to you, but for now, I'll explain it to you. Uh, the problem being, my keyboard won't let me push. Won't let me push certain buttons at once. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna let me do it without having to do, set something crazy. It's not gonna work right now. But that's what you do. You hold L and R up your aim up and up down buttons. Well, actually, first you go to morph ball and hold down. Then you know your up and aim up and down L and R. Hold those. And then you select power bombs and you drop one and hold shoot. It'll go off, and then the crystal flash would start about now. But like I said, it's not going to work because you have to have four. I say I have 49 energy of all the weird, ironic things. You have to have 49 or less total. As in, no full tanks, no full reserve tanks. You know, empty reserve tanks, empty all the tanks. And, and, I've, and I've read multiple things. I've read 29 or less, 49 or less. I've done it before, and I'm pretty sure it's 49 or less, like less than 50 energy. So I'm, I'm almost certain I've done it with 40 something energy before. Um, and you have to have at least 10 missiles, at least 10 super missiles, and at least 11 power bombs. What it does is it's, it's to refill your energy tanks if you're not near a refill and you happen to have extra ammunition. Because it eats 10 missiles, eats 10 super missiles, and technically it eats 10 pa power bombs, but it takes the one that you drop initially as well, so that's 11. And it will refill all of your tanks all the way to full. I think it'll also do reserve tanks, I'm not sure. So, and, but what it does, typically, is you start off like this, you do your special flash, and you end up like this. The trick behind that is, in that little tunnel I showed you, you can, uh, well, you're, you're stuck in Morph Ball, because it's only one block tall, you will still end up crouched. So your head will be in the ceiling. So then you can turn over, you can select your, your super missiles and shoot to get through that one thing. Um, I will demonstrate this whenever I'm back in that general vicinity. Now to move on, and let me reselect my stuff. Okie dokie. Right. Uh, when I get the next beam, I may unselect ice, unless I need it for something to go somewhere, because it does really just get annoying. Because once you get the next beam, so many things die in one shot, and it makes it take two if you start using the ice beam. It's kind of annoying. Where am I going? So I've explored around, we've discovered that I want to go down to this other side. Oh, damn it. Oh, shit. I do like the little invisibility period, that is handy. So you can just run right through things sometimes. 
this is down. So where is this exactly? Okay. This is right there. I just kind of went right by it the first time. That, that as you remember, is where we had to do the run and the space jump straight up thing. It was kind of a pain. As I completely forgot to start my stopwatch. It's been about two minutes or something, though, so I'm good. Uh, I want to move over and go back up that giant ass pipe. <laughs> Just my headset here. It's falling off my head. Yeah, my headset's broke. It's uh, broken, to be precise. It's uh, it's uh, just a big plastic, pretty solid headset, and I was, you know, to fit it around my head. I don't have a wide head or anything. I'm a pretty small guy. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I know I have a small head, but uh, you know, I always had to pull it out a little bit and stretch it. You know, and it's it's plastic. Like it's not really made to bend. And you know, of course, eventually I, I pulled it a little too hard, cracked it. It still works. I mean, you know, wires still go to both sides of it. Everything still works. Obviously, I'm still recording on it. You can hear, but um, <coughs> it, uh, yeah, it's now loose. I took some duct tape to it. That's good old duct tape. Um, and taped it kind of back together again. But it's kind of off, weird. It's not really, you know, straight anymore on my head. So it, it kind of feels weird when it's flush to one ear. It's, you know, hanging off the other kind of crookedly. Uh, it's it's an over ear set as well, so it, it actually fits around my ears. It sits on the side of my head instead of sitting on my ears. So it's all sorts of crooked and weird, and it just feels odd and will fall off my head every now and again. So, that's what's going on with the headset. If you're complaining about it again, that's what it is. Uh, so for now, though, we're gonna head back up through this big ass tunnel, and our goal here. Or my goal anyway is to get to these rooms right here um, I know that, that certainly can't be done and I have to just wonder for a long ass time well I have one more shot to something and if it doesn't work out that'll be the end because I'm getting low on time not only just I'm not, I'm not actually that low on time as far as YouTube is concerned but I do have to go do some chores, if you will, run some errands, and I have to get those done before shit starts closing. So, this will be, yeah, if you do this room right, it's not that bad. <laughs> Unlike that last time, the first time you saw me come through here, it was, god damn it, kind of like this. No. Let me, eh, there we go. Those douchebags on the ground suck. Can't even make it. Last one. Well, not last one, but close. Okay. okay. If I'm not mistaken, you can fall into that room from above. That's making me think there's something there, but I could be wrong. There's somewhere like that, that there's just a bunch of sand pits. You can fall through, like, any of them. And it's a big room like that that you go through, or you can go through, that you will fall into. Um see down is how you get down to that area that's not where I want to go right now I want to go through here oh I took my charge up before I ran into the dude shit I can't go through this backwards damn it I didn't even think about that alright let's go this way I mean, this is also kind of tricksy, you yeah. know, knowing to go through here and then, oh, come on, eh, there we go, yeah, Meridia is, is kind of the maze area of this game, like, everything else is kind of a maze, and I guess it's more that I just know every other area a lot better than I do Meridia, because they're all earlier in the game, oh, shit, that's not what I meant to do at all, <laughs> wait, then how do I get to where I'm, oh, no, I'm seriously confused, fuck, um, that is where I want to go, I was right. So I want to go through here and up. How oh, confusing myself. Well, in any case, I have looped basically back around to where I started. Now we're up here. Um, this will be an interesting episode of me just running around. All right, where 
is the shit. Because if I go through there, I think. I could be wrong. I'm sure I'll. <laughs> so I don't want to turn this into a two-part episode because, as you might have noticed, I guess I've kind of not really mentioned yet, but if the longer I record, the more the sound desyncs itself. No clue why. This is Camtasia. If anybody actually watches this and has a clue, if you haven't figured it out yet, let me know, please, by all means. Um, so, if, you know, if I stick to about 15 minute episodes, it desyncs a little bit at the end, but not really noticeable. Uh, any longer, really, if I start doing double episodes and one recording, that gets bad. Um, it really starts desyncing on me. I mean, to the point where I've, I've gone through on a couple of them and fixed it a little bit. And by that, I mean gone, <clears throat> gone through and just taken the sound and shifted it. <laughs> that's all I, that's the way I fix it. Just, you know, take the sound and shift. And it'll, uh, you know, get back to... What's up here? Hello? Huh. You yeah, know, it'll get close to normal. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm not actually fixing the problem, because it'll still, you know, start desyncing a little more and a little more over time, but I'm going to do something about it. Because where, where I'm trying to go is, is right in that little vertical shaft next to me. I've got to get oh shit through this. I'm so bad at that. It's been way too long since I've had to deal with this shit. Okay. Grr. Let me get swinging. Damn it. bad. If I just patience time the first one. The problem is I missed the first one and then I'm screwed because I can't do the second one until the first beam is gone. Here we go. Huh. Now then. Hey, finally. For some reason, I want to say that this is how you're supposed to get over there, is through this room somewhere. But I really, and honestly, don't remember for sure. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's occurring to me now. Ha, ha. I was right. I knew it would occur to me eventually. If I just wondered enough. Okay. Well... I'll hit the save spot right here below me. Just because I can. Um. Oh, there's some way down here. I know there is. There is. Oh, shit. <laughs> Whoops. Thought I had regular missiles on. Whatever works. Um, let's save. And this is the end of this episode. We're about to, now that we can actually go to explore some new areas here, that's what we shall do next time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. <laughs>